You really think the painting that ends up as a fridge magnet will ever leave Austria? It'd be a mistake not to take a look. Could you drive a little faster? We're gonna be there four hours early. But I want to buy perfume and cognac and you. Mrs. Oldman, welcome to Vienna. They're going to put as many obstacles in your way as possible. We were gonna try and find a copy of your aunt's will. I could have searched for the file on my own, you know. I wasn't going to miss all the fun. Joining us now is a fantastic actress we've been watching for many years now, Elizabeth McGovern. You can see her in the hit show, Downton Abbey, but she joins us now to talk about her new film, Woman in Gold, which also stars Ryan Reynolds and Helen Mirren. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. This is a great film that we just didn't see coming. It's based on an amazing true story. When you were first reading this, you must have been thinking, I have to do this. Oh, definitely. It's, it's, it's an absolutely amazing story. I mean, you, you know, you just can't believe that it's really true. But it is. Everything about it is absolutely true. Now, you have more of a minor role in this one, but it's a very pivotal character. Must have been fun to play a judge. It was really fun to be a judge. I didn't quite realize. But when I was at that podium and I had Helen Mirren and Ryan Reynolds hanging on my every word, it was just such a feeling of power I can't begin to describe. It's been a little bit hard to readjust to real life. <laughs> They're both funny people, not necessarily in this film, but in general. Did you have a moment on set where you got to break the mood and crack up a little? Well, we, you know, we had those kind of jokes that you have, you know, um, sort of casually um, eating lunch. But um, no, we, I mean, you know, I was, I was only in the courtroom, so there, we weren't, there weren't a lot of laughs. But, but there's a lot of laughs in the movie. A lot more people are following what you're doing right now because of the show Downton Abbey. What a great thing to happen in your career. People are just loving it. I know. It, I, I, it, I can't quite believe it myself. I mean, still to this day, I'm just sort of constantly surprised that, it, um, that people are connecting to the stories like they are. It just seems so unlikely. But it must be just somehow addressing some kind of vacuum in, in people's life at this moment in time that is working for them. So um, I'm nothing but thrilled. Everyone has a go for it moment in their life, or a Hail Mary, as we like to say, where something great worked out for them. What do you suppose that was for you? Um, I mean, because I, I, think, I think to be in show business, you have to just kind of go for it every single day. You really do. There's no other choice. You just have to be ready to take that opportunity. I mean, I think, I think that counts for more than talent, more than brains. It's just a sort of a readiness to, to make yourself available when, whenever it's going to hit. And to weather the times that it doesn't, to be okay with that, to, um, to be able to, to live with a sense of <laughs> total failure. Because I'm telling you right now, no matter how successful you may seem to the outside world, Every career has had a period where you just feel like an absolute failure in comparison to somebody else that is very much in your mind. That is across the board 100%. I don't care who you're talking to. Um, so I think, you know, it's, it's, it's about that kind of everyday, the discipline of being ready. Um, and and like, there's no day when you can't be. Now, we love getting out to the movies, and it turns out this is a great one to see with an audience, and there's quite a discussion to be had afterwards. Why should we see this one on the big screen? I think because it is a big movie in its look. It's got the most gorgeous scope. Um, it's got the beautiful Vienna contrasted with L.A. for that, all that that amounts to, the aesthetic of L.A. Um, at the, the, it goes back in time to these beautiful scenes uh, pre-World War II Vienna, um, and it's got an incredibly powerful music score, which, which plays much better in a, in a cinema than it will, you know, on your TV screen. Uh, and, and on top of everything else, it's, it's a very, very important story. Thank you so much for being with us, Elizabeth. Woman in Gold opens this weekend, and we're going to tell you to see it at a Cinemark Theater near you. Andy, can't you drive a little faster? Look, the chocolate on your donut is melting.